No idea has excited humans for so long more than flying. Birds and insects have been flying for millions of years, but man has only relatively recently taken off the ground. We can trace back human fascination with flight to the story of Icarus. According to Greek legend, Deidalus, Icarus's father, fashioned wings for him out of feathers and wax. But he ended up being guilty of hubris and plummeted into the sea. But with the advent of scientific thought, aviation moved away from myth and became a reality. The first successful human attempts to conquer the skies weren't airplanes, but kites and hot air balloons. Early kites and hot air balloons were used in China since the years BC, but not for human flight. For example, sky lanterns were used to frighten enemy troops who thought the floating lanterns were signs of a divine force. People wanted to fly though, not just fly their contraptions. There were mixed successes and failures for over a thousand years as various philosophers and early scientists developed gliders, man kites, and rotor-based machines. Leonardo da Vinci and other Renaissance thinkers developed intricate designs for flying machines, like the ornithopter and flying suits that attempted to mimic a bird's body. But most designs flopped until the late 18th century when man began to take to the sky in hot air balloons. Hot air balloons became very popular in Europe during the 1800s with the advances of hydrogen ballooning and the steam engine, but aircraft that were heavier than air were harder to develop. Well-designed wings were achieved using Francis Wenham's wing tunnel and other advances in aeronautics, but long-distance self-propelled flights were still impractical until the 20th century. A series of inventors claimed to have done it first, but the Wright brothers are most often credited with successfully flying a controlled and manned airplane. Early helicopters were created in 1907, and by 1929 fighter aircraft and airmail were developed. But it was World War II that ushered in an age of military aircraft, such as the P-51 Mustang, B-29, and more. More modern jet fighters, such as the F-22, F-16, F-35, and F-18 Hornet were used in dogfights. But during this period, technology was more focused on commercial flight. Douglas, Boeing, and Lockheed were major players in the American manufacture of commercial jets and developed the DC-8 and 707, as well as the commercial planes such as the 747, which we are most familiar with now through transcontinental providers like American Airlines. But mankind wasn't conformed to airplanes and took to space. The space race was spearheaded by the Soviet Union on October 4, 1957, when they sent Sputnik, the world's first artificial satellite, into space. On November 3rd of the same year, Sputnik 2 was launched with a dog inside, named Laika, who never came back. In the heat of the Cold War, politics prompted Americans to launch their Apollo program, and in 1969, Apollo 11 landed Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin on the moon. Over the last decades, technology has improved in ways that nobody expected. What started with a legend has literally taken technology over the horizon. What's next, no one knows for sure, but flight technology is sure to keep increasing every day.